Alright, so today's video is going to be about acne and how I cover it. If you've watched my videos for a while, you know that acne and I go way back, unfortunately. I have tried tons of different acne care systems and products, and I'm currently trying out a new one. I'm in the purge phase, so my skin is extra bad right now, so I thought this would be a good time to film a how I cover up my acne video. The medication I'm on right now takes about a month and a half to two months to fully do all of its magic, so let me know down below if you guys want a review on it once I'm done with the system. In the meantime, we just have to cover it all up. So the stuff that I am sharing with you in this video is all drugstore products. It can be really difficult to find products that work for your skin, especially if you have acne prone skin and are on a budget and have fair skin. This is stuff that I have tried and it works for me and it doesn't break out my skin, so I'm going to pass it on to you guys. If you want to see how I get this flawless looking face, then just keep watching. Alright, so here is my face with no makeup on. As you can see, I'm having some pretty awful cystic acne down here. This one has been here for about, I don't know, four days now. I am in the middle of trying out a new acne product and they say that you're going to have a purge phase. So I'm pretty sure I'm going through the purge phase right now. This side of my face isn't too bad. This is mostly all acne scars right here. I usually get it down my chin and on the right side of my face. I think I sleep with my hand on my face or something like that because it's always only on the right side of my face. So when I want a full coverage face that isn't going to clog my pores and make my acne worse, I usually go with e.l.f. Acne Fighting Foundation. This is super reasonable. I think it's about $6 from Target or you can get it online. The lightest shade is too dark for me. This is in the shade Ivory. So what I do to make it work is mix it with Manic Panic Dream Tone. If you watch any of my videos, whoa, I just like Twitch. If you watch any of my videos, you've probably heard me talk about Manic Panic Dream Tone. I have a whole video on how to lighten your foundation, so I'll link that down below. And this does have salicylic acid in it and witch hazel, so it'll hopefully help your acne rather than make it worse when it's on your face. Squirt a little bit of this on the back of my hand. Then I'm going to go ahead and mix in Manic Panic. I usually have to do two pumps with this foundation since it is hella dark. So I've already primed my face with my Maybelline primer. So after I've mixed my foundation with clean hands, I just like to rub whatever is left over on my face. And then I go in with my favorite brush to apply liquid foundation. And this is the Sigma F80 Flat Top Kabuki Brush. You want to make sure your brushes are clean whenever you're applying them to your face especially if you have acne prone skin because you don't want to contaminate your brush and then put it back on your face and it's just a bad cycle to get into. I do have a whole video on how to deep clean your brushes as well as spot clean them. I'll link it over here if you want to check those out. I hope you guys can hear me. If the fan's not on right now, I might pass out. So on spots like my forehead where I don't have that much to cover up, I usually just like to concentrate the most product in the middle of my face and then blend outwards. So whatever is left over on my hand, I just like to run through the brush and then kind of stipple it on the spots where I have acne. If you gotta make a dub chain, do what you gotta do. While we're letting this set on our face, a couple of my other favorite foundations for acne prone skin with full coverage is the Maybelline Super Stay Foundation. The lightest shade of this one is pretty freaking dark, probably an NC25-ish around there. So you do have to mix a lot of Manic Panic with this if you have fair skin. If not, this will be perfect for you. And then another favorite is Revlon Color Stay. They have two different formulas. The Combo Oily Skin one is my favorite. It's amazing. Yeah, these are my faves. Alright, so on to concealer. The ones I've been using for forever and I just love the way that they look and work and everything is the Revlon Age Defying Concealer. I'm almost out of this guy. But since it is too dark, I mix it in with NYX Lavender Concealer, the HD stuff. So I just mix that on the back of my hand again and I just like to use this for under my eyes and then whatever's left over, I kind of dab over any acne spots. Even if you don't have super dark circles under eye, under your eyes, if you're going for a full coverage look, which you probably are if you're trying to cover up your acne, I would definitely recommend just throwing on a little concealer under your eyes because you can just see the difference that it makes. It kind of just makes your whole face look brighter and will draw less attention to your, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know, shitty areas on your face. Imperfections, there we go, it sounded great. This combo does dry pretty fast, so you want to work quickly. So I'm taking whatever's left over and I'm just going to dab it on these huge planet sized acne. So to set the under eye, whoa. To set the under eye concealer, my favorite powder, you already know if you've seen any of my Get Ready With Me Shadow and Schmooze videos, but this is the Physician's Formula 
translucent light setting powder. This is actually a correcting powder, but if you have fair skin, it's perfect because it's actually light enough. So I just like to use this with an e.l.f. powder brush, and I just go ahead and pat this on over the concealer. For an all-over face powder to set everything, use what works for you. So we're going to use the Physician's Formula Mineral Wear Telc-Free Powder. This stuff is great if you have acne-prone skin. This powder is a little bit too dark for me, so when I'm not using this, I'm using the Ben Nye Luxury Powder in Cameo. You can't buy this at the drugstore, but it's drugstore priced, if that makes sense. You can get this off of eBay or Amazon, I'll link it down below. This is really great if you have fair skin. If you're about half a shade or a shade darker than me, um, this would probably be perfect for you. So to apply this, I like to use a Real Techniques powder brush. This is actually the blush brush, but I don't know how the heck someone could apply blush with this thing because it's huge. Alright, so I'm going to put the rest of my face on and we will be back. Alright, so here is what my face looks like after I finish the rest of my makeup. Pretty much all of my acne is covered. I feel great going out like this. Just the right amount of coverage. You can't see that I really have cystic acne besides the raised parts, um, which you can't really cover up. So I hope this helps some of you guys. On the lips is these two products mixed. I'll link them down below if you want to check them out. I think that's everything. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.